Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This week I was mindlessly doom scrolling through my Apple News feature. Do any of you guys use that? I signed up for it. Anyway, it is very algorithm driven and it knows that I'm interested in gray hair topics and it served up an article from the Huff Post that had the headline, is it possible to reverse gray hair? So of course I read this article and it brought up a lot of interesting questions for me and I really wanted to bring them to this community. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about this article. If you're able to get your hands on it, please go ahead and read it. And if not, I'll just try to touch on some of the topics. For those of you with your own YouTube channels, if you wanna wade into this, I really wanna hear what you think about this topic. Basically the main questions are, is it possible to reverse your gray hair? And then my question is, would you want to? And would that answer change for you over time? If that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. The article does explain how hair goes gray and why. The primary reasons are natural uh, aging processes that affects every single person on this planet. There's also causes related to environmental stressors, including uh, vitamin deficiencies and smoking, and also the process of bleaching our hair can permanently damage the melanin production in our follicles. So there are some things that we can do that can accelerate the, the aging process. I went gray really young. My first gray hair I found when I was 17, and I know there are people who find gray hair even earlier than that. For me, I always thought it was a combination of genetics because on my mom's side of the family, there were a lot of folks who were gray early. My grandma was primarily cotton ball white by 26, but she also had a very stressful uh, young life. When she was a young teenager, her mother passed, and then right after that, the Great Depression started, and she was responsible for raising some of her younger siblings through that process. So she was under a tremendous amount of stress, and by the time she was in her mid-20s, her hair had gone white. I found my first hair when I was 17, and I had a very stressful teenage life, not as much as my grandma, but really kind of like not so different. I had a really significant stressful situations that were beyond my control when I was young, and I do think I always felt like that contributed to my hair going gray earlier because I have other relatives that didn't quite experience that. I was always looking for the answer of if stress had contributed to my hair going gray sooner than what is considered normal. And there was always an answer that that wasn't possible, that that wasn't the reason why hair goes gray, that it wasn't like, you know, old wives tale or whatever. But this article admits that absolutely stress can cause the body to shut off melanin production in the strands, but that if stress is reduced, even with just like a, a good vacation, the melanin production can begin again. So if a hair has gone gray because of stress, that can turn back on and i i want to ask anybody here if you've ever experienced that up until about my mid-20s i was plucking out my gray hairs and i can recall pulling out a gray hair at one point and looking at the root and seeing that it had actually turned back to dark and feeling like i had pulled out the wrong one you know has, has anybody else experienced that once i started dyeing my hair i never had any idea what was going on from that point on so i haven't seen that since but this article confirms that one of the primary ways that we could possibly reverse gray hair is by reducing our stress not exactly sure how we do that it always seems uh, to be ever present in my life. I don't know about you. This also does not apply to hair that would have turned gray because of the natural aging process. Once our natural aging process causes a hair to go gray, reducing your stress will not restore the melanin production in that strand. So that's very interesting to me. That kind of confirms something that I think we always knew was true, or at least in my bones I always knew was true, that gray hair can be a result of a highly stressful life or of undergoing some kind of like major temporary stressful condition that um, that can pass is it possible to reverse gray hair in the case of stress reduction it is technically possible to reverse your gray hair but it has to be hair that would otherwise not have gone gray another thing the article mentions is that in 2011 the mega corporation l'oreal announced plans to introduce a pill that could be taken orally to prevent 
premature grain. So basically they, they came out and said they were going to be doing this. They clearly spent some time trying to develop this particular product and then eventually changed course. Now they're saying they're not doing it anymore. But at the time they were saying that this would basically be, see, be like a pill you would take every day that would prevent your hair from going gray. This is really interesting to me. One of the ways that your hair can go gray is through vitamin deficiency. So I imagine that they were probably addressing some of those concerns with this pill. But I thought about that because when I was young and I knew I was going gray soon, if that pill had been available to me to prevent more of my hair going gray, at that time, I think I might've looked into it. I would not look into this now, of course, it's like a little too late at this point, but like ideologically, I don't think I would even consider it now. But at the time I was feeling pretty vulnerable and vulnerable enough to dye my hair constantly for you know 15 years to cover my gray hair. I would have been driven to consider looking into an oral pill to um, prevent my hair from going gray sooner. I'm super curious to hear from the Silver Sisters. I have two questions. One, if that pill had been made available for preventing future hair from turning gray, would you have been interested? Would you still be interested? And then number two, this is kind of like a fantasy question, but if you could take a pill right now that would reverse the gray hair that you have and restore your hair color to the color it was before you went gray, would you consider doing that? Would you consider doing it if it was a one-time pill? Or also, would you consider doing it if you had to take it every single day? Let me answer those questions right now. Would I have considered taking a pill every day to prevent future hairs from turning gray? Maybe I would have. As for my fantasy question, would I take a pill now to completely reverse my hair back to its original color? I can honestly tell you today, right now, now that I'm through my gray hair transition, now that my hair has grown out and I can see the pattern that I have, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I feel like the gray hair is actually really flattering as I'm maturing. I wonder if I had my natural brown hair restored, if that would make me look somewhat older and the overall effect would be somewhat harsher. I'm not sure, it's hard to say exactly, but I can say for sure right now, if, if I could take a fantasy pill to restore my hair back to its original brown color, I would pass on that. It would be actually a hard pass. I'm super geeked about my silver hair now that I finally let it see the light of day. And finally, the question is, would that change over time? Like, would you would you consider taking a pill to prevent your hair from going gray up to a certain like magical age and then let it go? I, I'm good. I'm good personally right now, but I'm really curious to hear about your thoughts. If you could ride out your, your beautiful natural hair color until you're like 95, 110, whatever the age is going to be, and then if after that point you uh, want to let it go gracefully, like is that is that your vibe? For me, looking back, I suppose I might have wanted to do that at least to get through my 30s without having to do all of the chemical treatments to, to keep my hair colored. But again, looking back now, if I had to do it over again, maybe I wouldn't have dyed it at all. It's hard to say. It's hard to say, but it's fun to think about. The article itself was kind of, you know, the tantalizing, not exactly clickbait, but not as substantive as I was looking for. It did link to a scientific article about the effects of stress on um, on your hair, and I found that to be one of the most interesting parts about it, is that I always had a sense that the, the stress that I had experienced had contributed to me going gray a little earlier. And just for good measure, the Apple News algorithm also served up a little gossipy article about the Queen of Spain, Queen Letizia, showing up at some royal-related event in Stockholm, showing off some silver strands as well. And the article goes to talk about all of the A-listers in you know, across the world between Andy McDowell and Sarah Harris of UK Vogue, you know, showing silver strands as being aspirational. I think I think the jury is is in and they have decided that silver hair is now absolutely something that's going to be seen at the highest levels of fashion and power across the world. So ladies, just jump in and go for it, right? Anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, below. I'm really interested in hearing from you. Also, like, did you guys have a crazy week this week? My week was certifiably insane. I, I just I just don't even know what to say. It's Saturday night. I'm about to go out a little bit. We're going to go to the symphony tonight. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be good to just kind of go out but chill out at the same time. So 
Anyway, I really want to hear your thoughts and I hope you guys all have a great week ahead. Talk to you soon.